sawa sawa santeni sana kwanza kabisa nataka niseme ya kwamba sisi wote ambao mnatuona hapa tulishikwa wengine walishikwa on Monday uh, last week mimi nilishikwa on Tuesday pamoja na 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 wengine wetu hapa na tuliwekwa katika cell ambaye inasemwa kwamba ni false imprisonment kwa sababu hatukuambiwa ni kwa nini tulishikwa na tukapelekwa mahali tofauti tofauti hapa nchini Kenya kama unashikwa hapa Jomo Kenyatta International Airport inafaa upelekwe the nearest police station ambaye iko hapo airport mimi walinitoa kutoka airport saa tatu usiku wamenifunga pingu kwa mkono kisha wakanifunga macho kwa kutumia kitambaa black alafu wakaniingiza ndani ya boot sasa kama mimi ni uh, member of parliament ndio mna deal na mimi hivi sasa wale ambao sio wabunge mnawafanyia nini nataka kuambia polisi serikali inakuja na serikali inaenda sasa hizi ni msimu nyingine 2027 kutakuwa na another cycle you don't have to mistreat Kenyans these are the people you took oath to protect their lives and to defend them the same people you are killing you are destroying their lives you are injuring i want to tell you that if you are receiving the same salary as the police then it is so shameful if this government hasn't increased your salary as the police and you are fighting this spiritedly it's like you the police you are the people who contested vied in this election it is very shameful some of the police officers you are killing your own relatives you are injuring your own relatives among those people who have died i know there are your relatives there why do you destroy your own why do you use uh, brute force on kenyans who are harmless on kenyans whose mistake is just to be poor kenyans whose mistake is just that they don't have something to eat they don't have jobs that is the only mistake these kenyans have committed and i can tell you that you need to learn from what happened from some of your fellow officers how they've been treated in this current regime the same will apply to you and i'm telling you for every other police officer who is mistreating us we are marking you we are noting you we will do the same thing you are doing to us and i'm telling you we will do the same things you are doing to us you stole our phones our phones haven't been released up to now why am i saying stealing because you took our phones without our consent and that is stealing so we want our phones the court has ordered that our phones be released immediately i don't know what you are doing with our phones those are private that's that's a private property i'm a member of parliament i need to serve my people i haven't communicated from tuesday to to date how do you want me to serve my people how do you want them to reach me how do you want me to reach them so the police be warned be warned because you can't kill all kenyans and this is the time that kenyans are hungry and are angry if they don't have food to eat they will eat you so to ruto you did say that you don't entertain extrajudicial killings what are you doing you did say that you will not allow the police to use misuse and abuse the rights of the kenyan citizens what are you doing you are the person who is giving the orders you keep on blaming raila molo dinga talking even mentioning that how much blood does he need he does not need any blood you are the one who needs blood you are the one who is ordering the police to kill citizens to shoot citizens raila does not command the police you are the one who is commanding them and giving instructions for them to be killed so don't ask how much blood raila needs ask how much blood do you need we are ready to give you blood the much that you need you don't even need to come for those bloods from us we will bring blood to you because we want to make it easier for you 
So we ask you, Ruto, how much blood do you need? Is it not enough for you? And I can tell you, there's a time in 2007, you were in opposition. You were fighting for the rights of Kenyans. Where did that Ruto go to? What are we seeing now? And I advised your spouses to pray for you people. We don't want prayers from state house. We don't want prayers from any of your wives. Let those prayers be directed to you and your deputy. You need more prayers than Kenyans. Thank you. No, come on, arrest. What I have kill a sick, we don't care. Any question? Okay, we've seen that Azimio has made a, they have uh, postponed the Mandamana. Uh, what are the reasons why they have uh, postponed it? In Baba's wisdom, he decided to postpone the Mandamana because he's my boss. I will abide by what my boss has said. But I urge Baba, let us, after this, after tomorrow, which is Wednesday, let these Mandamanos go on even daily. Let every Kenyan be arrested. Yes. Let every Kenyan be killed if you want to kill them. Yes. Personally, if you think that you can gag me by arrest, hey, <laughs> shock on you and shame on you. Exactly. My arrest started while I was in primary school while I was selling Changa. In high school, several arrests. As a student leader, several arrests. So what, what are you scaring me uh, with? There's nothing you can do to me.